Hey guys, how are you? We're doing something a little different on the channel right now. Just, um, you know, shaking things up, shaking up, getting the new storylines. This is about new love. Okay, this is about new love and um, new love coming in. I am going to change it from Air, Fire, Earth, Water to Cardinal, Fixed, and Mutable. It's a different combination of signs. It's just about the way you kind of do things. So I'm going to go through a little bit. This is for the Cardinal folks. You are self-starters, okay? This is the beginning of each of the seasons. So there's four signs included in this. Aries in the first house, Cancer in the fourth house, Libra in the seventh house, Capricorn in the tenth house, okay? So this is how you basically, you guys, you guys are self-starters. You guys do things. So I did, I pulled um, a couple cards just for an overall energy. I'm also going to do this as a different spread. Okay, this is about new love. We're trying to shake it up here, get some new storylines, get some uh, new information of those who are, who are awaiting love or cardinals, in your case, starting to move down that road. All right, so I'm going to use my little notes here because I want to make sure I'm doing what I saw in my dream here. So let's see. Okay, here we go. Card underneath is Wheel of Fortune. Boy, I like that. I like that a lot. That is about uh, divine timing, destiny, destiny. Okay, so you are, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. I see uh, Capricorn here. They are. You want, they want, oh my goodness. <laughs> you will, they will. Okay. So we, in the extended, we are going to uh, pull additional cards for uh, Aries, Cancer, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, individual, about where this is going. We're also going to get some guidance for you and messages to you in the extended. Okay. So right now I see Aries, I see Scorpio, I see Sagittarius, I see Capricorn, um, I see water signs, air signs, fire signs, okay? You, the interesting thing, so whenever I do a reading, an individual reading for somebody, I always say, I lay out the cards, if you're sitting across the table from me, and regardless of your knowledge of tarot, I I say, what, what jumps out at you, okay? What, because your intuition is... You have this ability too. You just don't know it yet or you're not open to it yet. But when I ask that question, there is no right answer, okay? It shows me how these, how the people I'm reading for, what focus they have. It's not a trick. It is, a, it is an intuitive opening. It's an invitation to open intuition. What I notice when I look at this is you have some super powerful cards, major arcana cards, which are all power cards, okay? These are all very strong power cards. They're all, it is spiritual and earthly. It is, you know, power. There's power here. You're meeting power, though. This is good. They don't have a lot of major arcanas, but they have a lot of court cards in high vibration. King of Cups, King of Swords, Queen of Wands, and they have one that is like the Emperor. You have the Emperor. They have the Magician. So let me go through this one by one here. This is about new love coming in. So you are, seriously, death devil. <laughs> you may have sworn off a certain kind of person forever. You may have said to yourself, never again. I'm never getting involved with that kind of person again or something like that. For some of you, you're going through a very drastic, deep, destined transition okay, in your life. And you could be, some of you could be um, quitting addictions. Quitting addictions? You don't really quit addictions. But somebody, some of you could be leaving behind addictions, leaving behind things. Uh, some of you could have been involved with a narcissist. Some of you could have um, had issues with uh, choosing mates. Uh, some of you choose your fathers way too much. Something like that. Not your father, but you choose like it's sort of like your family, what your family of origin is where you learn 
what's a desire what's desirable in a mate okay and so you are trying to get rid of a certain kind of person in your life you know I always choose the jocks I'm gonna choose the artist this time oh darn okay hold on guys don't knock them over Mary Jo don't knock stuff over okay so you're gonna you're trying to you're moving through this transformation process determined because um, this is what you want um, Emperor's also husband and you're sort of on the fence about what what person or what kind of person on the fence about that um, you could have gone through a situation where you were with a very controlling person they might still be around okay so you will resist that kind of person seven of wands stand up for yourself and you are um, doing your homework you need more information okay about this other person you're doing your homework about this person need more information okay Aries Cancer Libra Capricorn that's you guys really trying to balance it for yourself right really trying to balance your energy really trying to understand who this other person is trying to get more information okay now this other person they are page of Pentacles King of Cups good self-worth they're not talking a whole lot that's what's putting you in this weird place of like who are they really I'm not sure page of Pentacles they're offering time they're offering things of value to you they know their self-worth they see your self -worth. they see you're not your self-worth they see your worth your value they see it they want to make decisions and move forward they could be moving forward a little fast for you okay King of Swords here makes plans for the future magician you could feel like that's okay so if you had dated somebody very controlling that feels like uh oh I'm it's happening again okay I, I I'm not getting that feeling but I'm gonna clarify the magician because the magician can be someone who's very sleight of hand and that could make you feel you're feeling like oh dear right oh dear um, they will they got a lot of passion for you my darling you might be resisting that they see you as hot they're they're willing to do a lot of work here ten of wands but f for they want passion okay they want passion they want sex with you they want that kind of stuff and you might be resisting until you have more information okay because you know you want you like this about this person that they're strong that they're determined that they're taking action but because you have gone through this transformation this person is a destined soulmate here for you because you've gone through this transformation or are going through it you're like uh you're just unsure of your ability to discern whether this person is um somebody who you want in your life or someone who is shady and just giving you uh you know they are really controlling and they're being shady about it okay so in the extended we're going to find out more about that i do want um i do want to talk about this mu musician musician could be a musician an artist remember i said about not the jock but the artist something about that something about that ten of cups yeah this person is a is a really good person for you uh, page of cups you're gonna make a new offer wow lovers I feel like you're the one who has the block here because of your past okay this is a good person this is a good person yeah you could have met them through work you're overcoming this what is really gonna overcome this is a lot of communication eight of wands six of wands overcoming the situation okay so what I'm gonna do in the extended lessons to be learned messages to you from this other person uh, guidance for you and I will get more um, I will show you the cards that I pulled um, for uh, the or from the Oracle okay link is below this is cardinal signs Aries cancer Libra Capricorn for February 15th daily